I could actually sit in one spot and be content the rest of my life, if need be. But since I'm here to experience things, I'm not going to do that. And since I have a big family of awesome people, I want to be part of that too. So, taking myself from that peace and that inner joy and that knowing to involve myself with other people, other places, other things, brings that into my reality as well. So, there's no doubt that you can't at least, maybe not react or overreact, but respond and adjust to those situations. Well, with those situations being the way they are right now, being hectic and threats of losing family members because of it, I can't figure out how to respond in a beneficial way for everybody. I'm not going to lie and say that it didn't happen, because it did happen. And I know that I'm here to help people understand reality and what we are as people. And I know since most people don't have that confidence in themselves or wouldn't say that, people look at me as in, who do you think you are? You must be crazy. And I get all that. I understand that. It's not like I'm stupid. I mean, it's the opposite. So I'm trying to figure out where in the world there are some people that are at least somewhat like-minded that I can talk to. Because I still want to learn more. But knowing that everything you present to yourself is potentially something that is going to change your belief systems, I'm cautious of who I talk to. Because most people have some kind of dogma coming along with wherever they're coming from. I don't at all. I don't see myself as any religion. I don't see myself as any nationality. I don't see myself as any affiliation of any sort. Aside from the fact that I'm a human being, I live on earth, and I have a family. Those are the things that I consider to be my affiliations. I don't follow the rules of any people who made them up because those people themselves are... They have, they have flaws. It's like, you can't say that everyone who's made a rule that we have to follow is a perfect person that is an icon to listen to. In fact, most of them are just self-serving people who made rules in order to make it better for themselves. And maybe at one point in time, there was more, you know, intention to help the whole structure of humanity. But now it's become money and power. And we all know that, but people don't do anything about it. Anyway, so being in that situation... I, I like I could just go off and be myself and I do understand that that's why a lot of monks and yogis and people go off to the mountains and just sit because they've already attained that inner peace and inner joy and I can be in almost any situation and be in inner peace and inner joy but I am having a hard time figuring out as a human being as a person how I'm supposed to enjoy that because my ex is literally an atheist and doesn't believe in anything and she's trying to take my kids out of my life completely I don't know how I'm supposed to approach that situation with joy I do love the people involved I just don't love what they're doing to me because whether this is a learning experience or not I've been through enough to this point where I don't need something this major And yes, I can get through it. I will get through it. But the pain that that gives a person is harsh. I know I'm not just a person, and I can go to that place where I'm okay. But when I come back to interacting with the regular world, it hurts. And I would love to talk to a guru or somebody that they call a guru and see how they would react to that. They would just be like, okay, take my kids. I'm not wrong. You are. And whether they, whether the people that he, that are wrong, that disagree with a guru, 
or not? Would, would they just go the rest of their life without their children? I mean, this is just a situation that's way too hard to figure out on my own. And I don't have anyone around me that's even interested in listening or helping. Because they don't want to get involved. Because most people fear the results of disagreeing with government. I don't. Because it never should have been agreed with in the first place. In fact, most people don't agree with it. They just have to follow it because they're here. Or wherever they are, they have to follow their governmental rules. Which gives each individual person no real freedom. Other than when they're by themselves. Or around people who don't have the illusion of power or status attached to their name. Anyway, that's enough for now. I love you guys. Have a great day.